All right, and this is my speed run of Black Hole Assault for the Sega CD. Now I am going to be commentating over this. Um, I did this run about a few hours ago. And I do want to explain some aspects of the game, like how the game works, how to speed run it. Even though, just from watching this, you can get a good idea of how uh, simple the speed run is in general. But we're going to get straight into it. Now, there are a few things I want to mention beforehand. First off, this was played on real hardware. I played it on a Model 2 Genesis with a Sega CD attached. Which, I think, like, from what I played on emulator, the, the load times are longer, obviously, since it's on a real CD. And, um... That might make the run longer or shorter on emulator, it depends, I don't know. And the second thing I want to mention is, I forgot to show the options, I have the stage traps turned to off and the animation turned to off, so... The animation off will automatically skip the cutscenes, and the uh, traps is that some stages have gimmicks like low gravity and such, I turned that to off as well, since this is, this is an 80% run. And I have to play it on normal, which is the highest difficulty in the options, because uh... If you play it on easy, you won't be able to play all the stages in the game. Now, the first thing you saw me do at the start of this match is I press start, and you might have seen me adjust the meter on the, the meter on the left. That meter actually um, determines how fast the game is. So if you put it to the bottom, it's fast. And if you put it to the top, it's slow. Obviously, for a speed run sake, you want to put it as fast as possible. So you put the meter all the way down. And now I get to talk about the strategy I'm using. So, the best strategy for this game is to pick Orion, which is the red robot, and to do his elbow. This elbow is done by pressing forward, down plus forward, down, and then punch. So it's kind of like a reverse quarter circle in a sense. For the, for the fighting game players out there, that would be 6-3-2-P. This elbow is very great for multiple reasons. One, it can cancel into itself, so you can cancel the animation. Two, it's invincible to nearly everything but projectiles. It does a lot of damage, causes a knockdown, and it can hit crouching opponents. So this elbow is the end all be all of this run. This is all you're going to see throughout this entire entire run, pretty much. Because it's really good, it's really fast, it's high damage. It's just a really broken move. And from what I've seen in the manual, like... There's no mentions of like being able to perform certain special moves of motions. Like I had to figure out these motions on my own because like nothing in the manual states that you can do like any of these moves with a motion. Speaking of motions, I should mention that special moves are done by uh some of them you have to press certain buttons like back to back, like kick and then punch. But for this case, you gotta like like with some special moves you can just do it with a motion instead, so like the other character, side quest, he can do an uppercut by either punching three times or just by doing quarter circle forward of punch. For Orion, he can either do the elbow by pressing punch, then, uh, kick, then punch, or just by doing the motion I said earlier, which is forward, down, forward, and down, then punch. So yeah, there's not too much to say about this run because this is all you're going to be doing if you want to get a like just a fast record on this game. And because I set the um, animation so off, it's like automatically skipping the cutscenes as well. Now, I guess I should mention like exactly how this strategy is done. Obviously, you spam the elbow, but like by how much? Well, it depends on a few aspects. It depends on you have to think of how fast the opponent gets up from a knockdown and how they get up. For example, this fight here, it's a bit annoying because like the way uh, this character gets up, I think his name is Locust. And, like, yeah, you see that he does that front flip, so you kind of have to, like, walk with him, but sometimes he, uh, flips too far away and might even jump back, so... That fight that costed me, uh, a few seconds. Even though this is my first, like, real attempt, like, going through the entire game, um, I think I could have saved a few seconds there if he didn't, like, get out of range from my, uh, elbows. So, yeah, already, we're up to the last, uh, the two bosses of the game. This boss is really easy, unfortunately, I got drone here, but that's fine. Just keep doing the elbow. And for some reason, this boss can't get knocked down. He can't jump or... He can't jump, he can't crouch, he can't dash. So you just get in his face, keep using the elbow, and he dies incredibly fast. It's very effective. And now for the final boss. And this boss is interesting because he has two different forms. His first form is... Well, they're not really forms, but... In this first part, he will stick to crouching. He will never move, he will never get up. So he needs to keep dealing enough damage until he stands up, right here. And then from there, you just keep doing the elbow. <laughs> it's as simple as that. 
and yeah, that was Black Hole Assault. Uh, the time the time started when I selected my name in the beginning, and the time ends when I deal the last blow to the final boss, which is a pretty good 408. I think sub four should be possible, but it might be a bit tight because like you have to consider maybe loading screens and um like just not missing the elbow in general, like the IO fight and like in, in particular. Like the enemy kept jumping away trying to like the way they get up is a bit weird so once you figure out a consistent strategy for that i think uh sub four is definitely possible and of course like if you have faster loading times i don't know um i guess i will say a few more things before um, i end this uh commentary um if you don't know black hole assault it's a sequel to an infamous game i did a speed run of year about a year or two ago called heavy nova I think Heavy Nova is more interesting than Speedrun. Like, I had more fun with it because it has uh, side scrolling stages in between the fighting. And with the fighting itself in Heavy Nova, it's bad, yes, but like, you have to consider the timing of your move, like, when the right, like, pressing kick right when the opponent lands. Like, it was definitely more. How can I put it, put it this way? You definitely had to pay attention more. But with this game, it's like. You know, you just do the elbow and that's it. You don't really have to think about it. You just have to think of like when they get up and what direction they get up in. But yeah, there's a lot more I want to say about this game, but I am going to save that for the guide I'm currently doing. It should be almost done. I hope you enjoyed the speed run and with that, I'll see you later.